Hey there guys, it's Liz here. I am at uh, Birds of a Feather. I am getting cupped by Lindsay. Um, some of you guys have seen my pictures probably about, how long ago was it that I came and I saw you? Was it like two months ago? Um, yeah. Probably like two months ago, I was here and um, I ended up showing you guys my quote unquote battle wounds. Hey Greta, thanks for hopping on. Hey guys, um, guys drop a one below if you have ever been cupped before because that's what we're going to be showing you guys live. Uh, Lindsay did massage and cupping with me like I said about two months ago coming back in to get everything done again and I had so many of you guys have so many questions. I got an overwhelming amount of messages um, people wanting to ask you know where Lindsay was at and what cupping was so I decided hey Lindsay are you okay with us doing a Facebook live at part of our cupping session for today and she's like yeah that's that's cool so um, I'm really trying to keep this as appropriate as possible. We had to strategically strategically angle this video, but um, this is Lindsay Kritz. We went to school together. We went to high school together. Um, yeah, just bend down a little bit and creep in there. Um, but she's going to introduce herself, show you guys what some of the cups look like because there's different types of cups. And then she's going to start going a little strategically into the thing and let you guys get a little bit of an insight of what cupping is. So go ahead, Linz. All right, so hi everybody, if you can see me. Um, so cupping, a lot of people don't really understand the concept of cupping. Um, it works somewhat similar to a massage, but in an opposite manner, whereas massage, you're pressing into the muscle, you're working into it. It may take a little bit, maybe a little painful, um, a tender for certain people. Uh, Alyssa said that she had a pinched nerve on the yeah, back side of the greater her, here, okay, yeah. in your deltoid area. Um, so it may be a little tender for a therapist to work into a client. So what cupping is really good for, for one part of that is to not work into and press and compress into that muscle, but to decompress and create negative, um, pull using yeah. the suction. It's like a cup. negative pressure. Yeah. It's a negative pressure. Yep. So it's pulling into the deeper layers of your muscles that I wouldn't necessarily be able to reach into or get into more so um, to start with just a massage alone. So it works great uh, with massage as well. Um, it's not painful. It shouldn't be painful. Nope. I know a lot of people ask you that as well. Yeah, a lot of people think that if you guys saw those marks, guys, drop a two below because it looks like huge, big hickeys and bruises. <laughs> and it literally is like hickeys from a cup. <laughs> and so Lindsay's going to show you them and show you how she creates the negative pressure because there's a couple different ways but they're not painful like at all. And it actually takes some of the pressure off the muscle so that blood can feed to that area and be able to bring fresh blood and restore and take away some of the toxins. So right. that's exactly. a little bit about what it does. Yeah. So again, what the, how the marks are created and a lot of people are like, those marks look terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> they look like they hurt very badly. I actually have one right here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I, yep, little, I see it A little here. picky there. <laughs> um, I got it done yesterday. It feels like nothing. Um, it's like a sunburn almost. Yeah. Like you can't feel it. But um, why the marks are created is they are pulling the stagnant blood, toxins, lymph through the dense muscles that need to be loosened and expanded back to their normal length. Yep. So anything that is congested in that muscle area, it is pulling through to the underlying surface, through the fascia, um, to the underlying surface of the skin so that it can be flushed out of the body. Which is like, it, guys, it's amazing. I'm telling you, you have to experience this. So. Yes. So um, we can get into that. I know you have a lot of tightness in your upper body, yes. your rhomboids and whatnot. So what would you like to work on? I know. You I definitely, you guys, do you resonate with the fact that like you keep a lot of tension in your shoulders, right? I keep a lot of stress and tension in my shoulders. I see a chiropractor and, um, you know, I, I do maintenance that way with Dr. Bill, but I love doing a uh, massage and cupping on top of it because sometimes you have really tight muscles that keep on pulling on those vertebrae. So Lindsay's going to focus on my shoulders. Um, she works on the rhomboids, uh, the, the delts a little bit. Uh, we've gotten into a couple different areas and we're not going to do it this entire time, but I want you guys to see what this looks like so Linz you want to show them the two different types of cups that Absolutely. you're gonna be looking at yeah so I use two different types I use a silicone base they're squishy you can drop them they won't break it's lovely because I drop things often yeah. and <laughs> you have plastic ones which these actually hold a stronger suction yes that's what we used last time for the most part right yes but um, I do use the silicone ones more for gliding mm -hmm. and cupping which 
I use oil for that or gel. Um, for these, these are static. They'll stay in one part of the body. That's what creates the marks. Whereas the silicone ones, I'll drag those across your muscles yeah. to pull them along with a little bit of massage. And those will, they should not leave marks at all unless either your skin's very sensitive or your muscles are that tight where yeah. blood is pulling through. Yeah. <laughs> so, which is definitely possible. I've had that happen. But right, again, right. it shouldn't be painful. It may be a little um, uncomfortable, but it shouldn't be anything that's making you jump off the table. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. So we're going to get into... I guess more so the shoulder region, the, lat, yeah. the uh, lats, the traps, along with your rotator cuff muscles, and then yep. try and work out that pinched nerve Perfect. in the middle of your delt. Toy. Yeah, yeah, right. it's probably in the middle here, and it'll shoot up my neck a little bit. So, so I'm gonna feel around just to see okay. what's going on. Um, usually, how I start off my sessions is to just get a little familiar with how the muscles are laid out and what's tight, what's not. So your right side definitely feels tired. Yes, exactly. Your rectors, which are running up along the spine. Yep. That gets really tight, too. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. What doesn't get tight? Everything. Yeah, so your infraspinatus muscle along with, I guess, maybe a little bit of your teres and your yes. rat. That's solid right here. So that's something we're going to work into as well. Okay. Yeah, and that deltoid on your possibly bicep. So I'm going to start with some gliding cupping. Okay. And then if we need to do a lot more of the static, we will. Okay. Um, I don't like to leave marks if I don't have to, but some people are like, give me the marks. I love the marks. I love my battle wounds. And I want to earn my battle wounds. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I look so badass when I have these. I know. I had a client who had them all over his body. He's just like, I kind of feel really cool with these. You're like a human cheetah then. Right, right. <laughs> what if someone called himself the spotted dragon? <laughs> it's really pretty funny. Oh my God. All right, so I'll work into this. And what I like to do also is cupping, since cupping does work really well with massage. Yeah. Um, you do the cupping, loosen up those muscles that much more, start the blood circulation, get the lymph drainage going. And then you work into it again with the massage and some myofascial release yes. just to really put a punch in that. Now, can releasing. you tell people, um, like, is there anyone who shouldn't do cupping? People that shouldn't do cupping, um, anyone with rare blood diseases, they should know uh, they have trouble clotting their blood. So okay. they bruise easily. They may have really bad reactions. Okay to the suction, um, it may be too much where it's bruising them rather than just pulling the blood to the, and the lymph to the surface. So okay. We don't want that, um, that's, that's one thing. For people that have diseases such as shingles, they need to be careful because it may pull and create certain reactions that may have been lying dormant yeah. in the body. Um, whether that's a rash or some of the marks could pop up again. It wouldn't be a full-blown shingles okay. um, reaction, but it could Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, just because you are really moving a lot around in the system, in the yes. body. You had a lot of trapped in there. Um, but it's just something to think about. Uh, anytime you're sick or you have a flu, you shouldn't be going to anyone that is going to be contact in contact with your body regardless so right even if you got the sniffles maybe just reschedule <laughs> um but yeah other than that um people that are going through chemo and radiation it's said to not go through that okay at this time just because the reactions are different for everyone and if their immune system's already weak from that treatment yeah um it's something to just hold off on and maybe just get a normal Swedish right. light massage. Well, because your body's going to be detoxing. Right, exactly. And the immune system's already working overtime to heal from yeah. that treatment. So, so are, are there any areas of the body that you shouldn't cup? For me, I only... You know, I've cupped everything, honestly. <laughs> Guys, um, if you couldn't hear me, I said, are there any areas of the body that you should not cup? <laughs> yeah, the only thing is if they have an injury or a new um, operated area where they had surgery somewhere. So okay. people that have bulging discs, herniated discs, 
you can still get cupping, just not over that area because the disc is already unstable. It's already being pulled away from that alignment. So that is one um, area you don't want to cup for surgeries. You can, if it's like five years after you've gotten the surgery, it's yeah. fine. Um, it may even help heal a little bit of that that scarring. Yeah. The uh, scar tissue buildup. Yeah. Um, you can already see there's a little bit of blood pool. Oh, so, yeah. Like, you guys see that increased circulation? But how does it feel already? It's just it feels good. Like, you guys, you can just feel like it's just, it's almost like a yeah. weight is just lifted off your body. I'm telling you, it's like the best relief. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you can still see it. Yeah, you definitely so, can. Um, I'm going to increase the suction. I start the suction off very light just to get the the blood circulation going and to get the muscles loosened up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then I increase the suction so that it's not a shock to your body as well. But this is where the, the redness starts to really kick in. <laughs> so I like it. I like it's it. It's not painful. It feels really good. And I know that we're sticking mostly with the, with the gliding ones, but I definitely want to at least uh, show yeah. them like one because yeah. you use a little gun with the negative mm -hmm. pressure. Well, I definitely want to. So when I use the static cupping, that's for, excuse me, the areas that really are just super taut and I yeah. can't work into them without that. Or massage is a time session. So if I don't have as much time as yeah. I'd like to, which I wish I could, um, I cup certain areas that I want to, get into while I'm working in the other areas once the time's up, which they should stay on between three minutes for new people okay. um, that have never had for people with really sensitive skin or um, all the way up to 15 minutes if your body's that used to the flushing of the body. Now so. I know like people can get these on like Amazon, like some, yeah, some types mine. of things, right? <laughs> right? So what do you think about people doing it to themselves versus going to a professional and getting it done? Cause you I know, do know people that have yeah. gotten like, <laughs> if you, so marks. I'm all for self treatment. Like I don't like taking medication. I don't like having to go to the doctor. Cause a lot of times mm -hmm. they may be aware of something that's going on, but Doctors are kind of trained for all um, systems of the body except the muscular system for yeah. whatever reason. So they don't truly understand what may be the underlying cause. So if you feel like that is something that can help you and you can do it on your own, absolutely go for it. But just understand the concept of it and what exactly is happening. Like yes. Just because you have a circle that shows up and it's a really cool color. That doesn't mean it's a good thing. <laughs> um, if it's blue, definitely not a good thing. Oh um, my God. You know, if you leave them on too long, it will cause blistering. So that's something to be aware of. At maximum, they should be left on for 15 minutes. So it's just, I, I think they're great. Um, they can actually help with cellulite getting rid of that just because oh, it's, wow. it's promoting the blood flow back into the muscles and with the cellulite release helps the, to... Yeah, the awesome. cellulite is trapped fascia, um, fat in the, in, um, and muscle into that fascia lining. So when you're doing like the fascia blaster, some people work with that. Yeah. My... Um, my business partner, Erica, she uses that tool and I've got it done. It's amazing. Um, that really breaks apart the, the trap tissue and really smooths out that fascia lining. Cupping does the same thing mm -hmm. with the negative pressure lifting it away from the body so yeah we're gonna get into here we're gonna do a little yeah bit that is so tight it's yeah. not even funny and it's really nice for areas that are too tender to work into mm -hmm. I just put the cup on and leave it there and they're in no pain and it's relaxing for everybody because I don't want to hurt you that's not my intention no at all. so we're gonna hit the infraspinatus right here okay because the infraspinatus is the bottom part of your shoulder blade, yeah. you have your supraspinatus, then you got your lats and your teres minor right in here, which is also really yeah. tight for you. So we're gonna line this, go from attachment sites, the medial part of your shoulder blade. Is my arm positioning okay? It is fine, I'm actually okay. gonna, I don't want you to be holding your arm. Yeah, I didn't know if I should be like looser. Okay. So rest your arm right there. Okay. Not comfortable? Yes, I'm good. Just yeah. gotta make sure I don't pop a boob out the sides of the camera. <laughs> you, are, you are secure. Okay. 
So for people that have never had cupping before, um, I would start with one pump just to see how that is for them. So I'll pump and you see the, well actually I'll do it here so that they can really see it. So you'll see okay. the skin pull through that cup. That's one pump. Yeah. How's that feel? It feels good. Not, not really. You it's not like it's Your back's cool. so tight already. I know, it's turning, I need more. It's turning red. Pump me more. <laughs> Give me the pumps. So that's two, and you can already see, I don't know, yeah, you can see that. Um, it's already being pulled into the cup, and you can just see the blood being pulled into there, being pulled through the muscle to release that that um, trap, that your lower traps are just like, It's so tight. I mean, it's they like look defined cups. as hell. Oh, can you say hell on here? <laughs> what you can say hell on here. <laughs> <laughs> you, look, you look good, girl, but you're tight. All right, so we're going to start here. I'm going to... We're gonna start with three because I know you can take it. Yeah. So I'm how's three. that? I'm a three. Yeah. Right. You are a three. Here. They make funny noises sometimes. I do like to <laughs> warn people about that. Um, sounds like someone's passing gas or someone's farting or like sounds a like balloon. Fart. Yeah. So you can giggle if you'd like. I had someone <laughs> losing it in a session the other day. <laughs> like I, we had to take a break because we both were dying laughing. So. Okay. I'm just going to surround that shoulder blade and really work into those rotator cuff muscles, all those attachments, because you got some buildup, some knots yeah. in here. Now, how often can someone get cupped? Like, what is too close together for sessions? What right. is too far? So, again, it's depending on the person and how their body heals. If you are a quick healer, your skin is not very sensitive and your marks are going away pretty quickly. I would say three to five days. Okay. But some people, they take a little bit longer to heal. And for me, I've had marks last all the way up because it was, I, I bruised my, or I injured my shoulder back in high school when I would play right. lacrosse. Um, so I had some muscle damage there. So I've been cupping my shoulder, which is why I have marks on it today. Okay. So those marks have lasted up to two weeks for me just because I, I really worked into it, but it felt so, it already feels better. Like yeah. the scar tissue is dissipating. It's, I have better range of motion. Um, you do because it's promoting that flushing of the muscle there's your there's sun. a tube, there's, there's a tube. <laughs> um, see that's really tight the the cup's not even sticking to it so i'm going to actually use a silicone cup they form a little better to the body yeah there we go how's that feel? oh yeah that's good okay um so it just depends I didn't if, even know that you could just, just stick it on there. I thought you had to slide it. Oh, yeah. There's tricks. For oh, me. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go down your erectors a little bit down the spine. Okay. Yeah, people don't usually see the pictures during the session, but when you see, it looks really bizarre. Just It's like, it, it, I, the first time I ever saw it, I was like, oh, my God. Like, so it looks like it should be yeah. extremely painful, but it's not. A little fun fact. So this is an ancient Chinese method. Um, of course, not the pump. They didn't have a pump back <laughs> in ancient China. But um, what they used to use was the fire would create yeah. the suction. But they would use anything that would hold that suction. So they would use animal horns. Oh, my God. And I saw a picture of these black horns on this guy. And they were everywhere all over his back. And it looks so crazy. Oh, but my God. It wouldn't be something I don't. Th I don't think I could sell that very well. No, I, I mean some I, people would be like, "Yeah, you look like that, badass." So, <laughs> so right now I have the erectors cupped. I have the lats and the Terry's minor cupped. Everything that would pull on your shoulder and your rotator cuff, mm -hmm. I am trying to loosen that up a little bit. You see, right where that pull is originating from your infraspinatus that is turning purple okay which is good purple is good that just yeah. means it really needs to work and it's sh you should come back for another session which i know you'll be back yes so, i will oh um, yeah so it's it's really working i can already feel the release i'm gonna get here if you guys want information on um how to contact Lindsay, drop a three below and i'll make sure that i give it to you if you guys are 
in the somewhat local area. I know, I can't stop talking. No. <laughs> but okay. she deserves it. She's freaking awesome. Oh, my oh, God. It's you. so creepy to, like, look over right. and see this, like, hump. Right. Yeah, it's a little strange to look at, but in the end, it does feel good. You get you get your marks. You earn your marks through the session. So while those are working, I'm going to do some gliding on the other side. Because uh, the body is one whole system. You have connective tissue running from the top of your head to your toes. So anything that may be tight on your right side, it could ultimately be pulling on your left. So yes. any, you know, your tight right shoulder, there's a sling that'll sling all the way down your lats into your left yeah. hip. A lot of people don't really see it as that and they don't understand why their hips all of a sudden hurting. But that connective tissue can really throw an imbalance right into your body so get in here you won't leave those on too long i'll give it another minute just so people can what's see. the longest that you'll leave a couple in 15 for? minutes tops but wow. these these cups they have such a good pull i usually only leave them on for 10. that's awesome yeah. Yeah, wait till you guys see in another minute or so what it looks like when she takes it off. <laughs> yeah, the first time I got this done, I, I think I went to see some of my girlfriends and then I saw my family that weekend also. And they were so concerned. I had people coming up to me. They're like, are you okay? Like, do you need to talk to someone? Yeah, they like, think nah, you're, being, good. Like, you're in a domestic violence <laughs> relationship. Right. Right. <laughs> but yeah, it's like a secret society. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna have to work in the your left side there too. Oh my god, it's tight. So I'm actually gonna leave that on. Yeah. Too. So we'll take off the first couple we'll take off is where we started. That one's been pulling the most, so I can feel it. Holy crap. Alright, so you definitely had good pull there. It's really warm, so you can feel yeah. the blood being pulled to that surface. I'll post the after pictures in the comments <laughs> yeah. of this then too. Yeah. Oh, one thing I we didn't do is take a before photo. Because it really is neat to see just how relaxed the body and your posture and gait yeah. is after the treatment is done. Got a little sound effect going there, too. <laughs> that one's not as bad, though. Yeah, that one feels really tender. Yeah. Usually this area is... Probably one of the tight some people besides. And I just yeah. trained back yesterday, so oh, I feel there like you it's... go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you, yeah. Oh That's the God. typical reaction I get. Oh. <sighs> yeah, your lats are really tight too. So guys, that's kind of the summary of what it looks like. I'm gonna take the spotlight off of Lindsay. Give her a round of applause emoji because this is, I think, is this the first Facebook Live ever that you've done? Yeah, it's nerve-wracking. Woo, woo! I know she's like, I'm so nervous. And we're both like, okay, let's pee beforehand and let's just get this going. So um, Lindsay's gonna bring it to a close. We're gonna have some private time now. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys the, those look so freaking yeah. good. Those look yeah. awesome. I'll show you guys the That's after funny. pictures. I'll post them in the comments of this later. But if you guys want any more information, like I said, drop a three below and I'll give you Lindsay's info. But cupping is amazing. And uh, you guys enjoy the rest of your night. Happy Thursday. And Lindsay, you just press finish <laughs> in the bottom right hand corner. Got it. And we will be done. Bye guys. <laughs>